Well then, Olivia, talk to me. Y yes. In the beginning, Nick only went to the gallery during the day. But he went so often at some point he became friendly with Diane. They started going out drinking together, and now he doesn't come home until early morning. He always says that they were only drinking when I ask. He blames me for not being able to talk about Turner and Rembrandt. Which of course I can't, can I? So what can I say? Finally, I couldn't take it anymore. So I followed him. He did go to the bar, to start with. Diane was there too, but the real problem is where they go to next, right? So I waited outside the bar to see where they might go, and, and they eventually left the bar and headed for the art gallery. But it was, it was already early morning, but it was still dark. Just before going inside, Diane turned around. It should have been too dark to see me, but I swear, her eyes looked right at me. They seemed to flash for a moment. I was so rattled that I left and went home. The next day, Anna was found dead. I, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the gallery to talk with Diane about it, to confront her. But once I was there, I couldn't find the courage to go through with it. Then I saw you there, and I just felt I had to go home. Nick has been seeing Diane every night recently. He just left for tonight, too. I, I, I really don't know what to do. <laughs> you are going to take Nick in for questioning. No, not yet. This alone isn't enough. Emily, answer me. This is Emily. Agent York is with me, too. I've just received word from Thomas at the Sheriff's Department. Something has happened at Becky's house. It was called in by Quinn, but he wasn't making any sense. We have no further details. I've sent Thomas over there. Can you go back him up? Yes, sir. One other thing. It sounded like he said, Raincoat Killer. This may well be related to the murder case. Take all due precautions. No! It couldn't be! Nick? Oh, please, no! What can I do? Nick! Oh, Olivia, Nick. calm down. Emily, take care of Olivia. I'm heading over to Becky's. She lives in the big house over by the lake. Hurry! I just hope this isn't anything serious. Damn it, Zach. We may have screwed up during the investigation. Zach, I have a bad feeling about this. Becky's house is by the lake. Becky. I'm sorry. 
That's all he would say since I got here. Quint, tell me, what did you see in there? Did you see the raincoat killer? Thomas, did you see Nick here? Oh, Becky. No. When I got here, he was already like this. Oh, he should be here soon. Call George and tell him to get over here. And wait out here. I'm going inside. Once they both get here, follow George's orders, okay? Yes. But Agent York, isn't it dangerous to go in there alone? Don't worry. Zack is with me. Zack, let me smoke one first. I need to clear my head so I can take everything in. That's a strange coincidence. Look. Red velvet. Just like the place where Anna was murdered. Too much noise. We're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle.